right then guys, Lambretta vlog time. I know it's been a long time since I've done a video, but a lot has been um, going on at my end. Um, most significantly, um, there's been the unfortunate and untimely death of my father. Um, and anyone who's watched these vids um, in the past and stuff, you'll know that we did a lot of scootering together, um, just riding about, just for no reason really, um, helping me fix the scooter, pottering around, hanging around in the garage, talking about scooters, and unfortunately he's now died of uh, a short illness, which I'm not really going to go into, but it was fairly sudden. Um, in the big scheme of things so there's been a lot to deal with and I haven't really felt like doing much scootering myself and producing vids and things it's it's taken me a few goes to get this video um, done as long as I can get through this one we should be alright um, so that's what's been going on um, so it's obviously really been a really hard time and now I've you know, I'm sort of, you know, I'm getting there. We've got to got to move on and carry on and uh, keep it keep it all going, keep the scooting going. So, so this is what I'm doing. So that's uh, just to fill you in what's been going on. But moving on from that, um, this is my new garage and workshop um, of my new my new house that I've moved into. Um, got it quite well kitted out already with uh, all the tools I'm going to need and all the bits of stuff so so this is it it's um, this is what I've been doing basically this is the engine that I was doing before I made quite a lot of progress on this but as I say I didn't I, I haven't really been in the mood to do videos and talk you through all of what I've been doing I just wanted to sort of get get my head down get out of the way down in the garage and keep myself busy so that's what I've been doing um, I put a top end on it now this was actually one of my dad's old ones from the shed it's a Rapido 225 that I've ported and stuff just to match you know just match the manifold this all needs a gasket on yet and, and fixing on properly but I've, I've matched the manifold and the you know the exhaust windows and stuff and, and cleaned them all up polished it up so that should run pretty nice um, got all the clutch and all that in um, yeah, and further to that, this is the new new project that I'm doing. Um, so for any of you guys out there who are saying, you know, are you going to do any more any more builds or anything? Well, there you go. This is this is what we're doing. So we've got a Indian GP one hundred and fifty uh, frame, forks, loads of panel work. Got nearly the complete scooter, really. Um, minus sort of some of the internals for the engine that engine case casing came with it and stuff and all of these parts that are all hanging around now were basically just thrown in um so it was on ebay at 600 pounds or best offer so i put an offer in 450 and i was surprised that he took it straight away pretty much so i sort of collected it day after a couple of days after and it you know it's here so um, so I've got quite a good deal looking at it. You've got frame forks, engine casing, panels, leg shields are a bit kicked. Um, front mudguard, I mean this, this mudguard came with it and that's, well it's green metal flake which isn't really to my taste but it's, it's there, so it's there to use. Um, the rear footboard things, all of that a lot all came with it and by the time I was sort of picking it up the guy was just sort of flying around his own garage and just saying do you want this do you want that what about this and I was just like well yeah thanks mate so I got you know, like headset top and bottom which is on there cowlings and things um he gave me that hub he was saying like oh what what color are you going to do it because I've got a white hub if it's any good to you oh yeah you know, it doesn't have to stay white does it so 
he threw that in he just went basically throwing all kinds of stuff in it really really good deal it turned out really nice loads of engine you know internals sprockets and you know italian it's an italian sliding dog and springs and stuff so uh so yeah so that's what i'm i'm on with so um i'm gonna be building this over the next well, a few weeks i mean we're into december now um this frame actually does need a bit of work before we get really going on it for starters these um i don't know if you can actually see this on camera but that's the the stand strut strut thing um and that if i pushed hard enough on that i could probably break that off just with my own hand so that needs attention i think what i'm going to do is just get an entirely new one of those cross member things get that one off you know grind it back and weld a brand new one on i think is the way forward with that um it's also when it's on the on the ground i can't be bothered getting it down there but when it's on the ground you can see that the front end is sort of twisted a bit it seems to just be sort of bent to the to the right as you're looking at it from the front so i've spoken to the guy on the phone who's going to do the the repair and the the jigging and stuff and he says it, it shouldn't be a problem he said he'd actually done them in the past where they've had such a smack that it's ended up with like a crease on the on the down tube here you know when the metal folds and bends it puts a crease onto it and he's he managed to get that back and straighten that so this isn't as bad as that so it shouldn't be too bad um other things uh such as the toolbox door you can see has been welded over and you know filled and flattened and just covered which isn't really a problem because I'm, I'm gonna have a, a long range fuel tank anyway but um for some reason they've blocked off blanked off the the holes for the the seat to go on which i'm assuming they had a, one of those little racing seats on the back but i don't want one of those i want a proper seat on it because it's much more comfy so that's gonna have to be you know re-drilled that shouldn't be too hard you just need to know exactly where to put it um i've got a seat to go on it but i don't have the catch <laughs> unfortunately so if i had the catch i could put that on and just lay the seat on and then mark it myself and drill it but i'm gonna leave it to the the guy who knows what to, what he's really doing with it so that's to sort but once that's that's done that's the bulk of it is done you've got the frame there the engine there and the rest of it all just comes together it can take a bit of doing but it does come together eventually so just as soon as i get anywhere with it i'll uh you know we can we can go through it build it together if you like guys you know we're at a stage where i can show you everything pretty much well everything that i know anyway which does leave quite a lot to be desired but fundamentally i've i've done this before i've I built that one with a lot of help off my dad i built the blue gp that i had pretty much on my own this one is obviously gonna have to be on my own but i'm gonna manage i'll manage it so right i'm gonna leave it at that um i wanted to just do an update as i say and keep you in the the loop really and just to to let you know that i'm still out here and still doing it um still scootering and i will be forever i should imagine it's just going to be a bit uh, a bit more tricky it's it's the motivations as i'm sure you can understand it's a bit harder to find at minute but it'll be all right we'll get there so for now i'm going to leave it um thanks for watching thanks for sticking there if you if you're still out there guys i'm assuming I'm, there's someone out there i'm talking to and uh just keep watching and stuff and we'll get we'll get on and build ourselves a scooter yeah so that's it i'm gonna leave it so thanks for watching subscribe if you like scootering i know this is a bit of a somber kind of vibe to this video but they're usually quite entertaining i hope so that's it so thanks for watching and i'll see you on the next one